Hello everybody, it's Simo here. Welcome back to another upcoming games video. We've got some exciting projects to share with you today. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining us on another video. If you guys enjoy this content, please do leave a like and hit subscribe. I want to thank you all again for the incredible support you've shown me on these upcoming games videos. Today we're going to be covering animal survival games that center around more modern creatures, some mythical animals, as well as still some prehistoric life that I think is definitely worth taking a look at. The first game on our list that we're going to be covering here now is number 8, Analife. Created by indie developer Diego Herrera, this new project lets you explore a beautiful animal kingdom where you can traverse through the animal food chain unlocking bigger characters as you gain XP. You start this game as a small furry animal of your choice and spend the early days foraging for food and exploring and performing quests and minigames. As you unlock secret portals to other biomes, expand your adventures, the first biome you unlock is the Hunting Ground, a free roaming meadow shared by other players in a multiplayer environment. A new problem is then realized. You may be a small rabbit happily collecting carrots for your family, but you are the food source of other higher ranked players. Death is pretty harsh to a player's progress, as unlike many other games, you have to choose penalty before respawning. Lose XP, lose a family member, gems or coins won through mini games. There are currently a collective of different animal groups. Small furbies such as rabbits, raccoons, and red pandas, mid-sized boars, foxes, and wolves, and then larger sized creatures like tigers, lions, cougars, and bears, each bringing a unique set of fighting skills, speed attributes, and some variety to the combat. The developers have said that they want to create a multiplayer animal adventure game with a twist. Although there's the campaign side, players are vital to make the multiplayer world work. And I think this game looks fantastic, guys. The art style is beautiful, and the combat really promises to be something that's a lot of fun. Now, this game intends to release in early 2021, and the game says that it's going to be coming out on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. With future plans for Nintendo Switch and other consoles down the line. So if you guys want to check this game out, make sure to find it on Steam and add it to your wish list. But now let's move on to number 7 on our list, a game we've covered before, The Isles of Yore. The Isles of Yore is a multiplayer simulator that aims to make your experience far more realistic as you go through the life of these prehistoric animals. This in particular is what the devs are focusing on. They feel while there's a growing amount of dinosaur survival games out there, there isn't really anything on the market yet that scratches the simulation itch. Their vision for the game is one in which where AI doesn't feel like a simple trick, but something that greatly enriches the world and gives you a sense of wonder. To further push the simulation angle, they want as little gamey abstract elements as possible and as much natural immersion and connection to your character as the game will allow. In the game, you will claim your domain with your animal of your choosing, an environment that best suits your needs. Either dense jungle, treacherous swamps, and the wide open areas of the island all offer unique advantages and challenges. You'll compete with other players and AI in a bid for supremacy and survival. Gameplay centers around raising and taking care of the animal you've chosen, Balancing your thirst, hunger, and stamina are all vital to the day-to-day -day needs. And as you explore the rich environment around you, you'll find other dinosaurs which you can bring into your pack and make new friends. The initial batch of animals selectable to play centers around small to medium-sized theropod dinosaurs like Coelophysis, with a plethora of AI-driven characters stalking the land around you. Future updates flesh out this roster further, with larger animals and aquatic biomes planned in the future. Isles of Yore seems to only be releasing on Steam, so keep an eye on the Steam page guys, again link for that is down in the description below. Now we're moving on here to 
game number six, which is Historia. Historia is another dinosaur survival game, you could say. However, this is one that focuses on the entire Mesozoic period. While still in early development, Historia will be a survival slash evolutionary game, one that does not focus on the favorite dinosaurs. Players start with two pathways and must discover for themselves where they branch, where their dead ends lie, and the secrets hidden amongst the three Mesozoic periods. We are not building just a dinosaur game, says the developers, but one with multiple diapsid families that roamed the lands, haunted the waters, and soared the heavens. Our pride comes from the paleontological evidence and research that makes sure that everything within Historia is accurate according to current knowledge. Plants, creatures, and special locations will fill a player's journal with endless knowledge. Players then must decide on their paths without being guided and must remember what is healthy and what may harm them. The game will feature the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous areas with almost 300 creatures in total. The devs have said we do plan on starting and finishing the Triassic and making that entirely playable before heading into the Jurassic. The total amount of creatures currently comes out to about 296. But I think Historia is definitely an exciting project, one that I am very interested in. I've got a real soft spot for games that have an emphasis on realism and historical accuracy. So if you guys are interested in Historia, it is still in early development and does not have a Steam page at this time, but I'll be sure to include the link to their Trello as well as their Discord and Twitter down in the description below. Now The Depths is a game I'm really excited about guys, this is number 5 on the list, and The Depths is a prehistoric multiplayer survival game with a focus on creatures that are aquatic or semi-aquatic, where you play as these prehistoric animals from hatchling to adult. The Depths features large oceans with caves and trenches and unique landscapes across their 6 large islands for the semi-aquatic creatures to live on. At the start, this game will feature 20 different creatures featuring big names like Megalodon, Spinosaurus, and Mosasaurus, all with their own unique stats and abilities. These creatures will age in real time, and there will be alpha systems that allow a particular member of a pack to reach the top, and the combat will promise to feature some truly grizzling details, including dismemberment, trying to focus on how these creatures would have actually attacked in real life. For example, sharks will charge at their prey, ripping pieces off and leaving a bloody floating mess. And this is going to be a game that's definitely worth waiting for, my friends. They want to make this game not just a growing simulator, but something that actually is engaging and fun. There will be quests that cater to the lifestyle of your chosen creature, and you'll be able to explore the world and pick out a piece of it for yourself. The Depths is being developed by Cigaris Studio, and they have a release date set for August 16th of 2021. So get ready for this underwater masterpiece, my friends. It's gonna be a blast. If you want to check out more about this game, I have a link to its Steam page down in the description below. Now number 4 on this list is a game I've been excited about for a while now guys. This is called Emberfall. It's a dragon slash human survival game. Something akin to the gritty realistic style of games like The Isle. This is being developed by Best So Far LLC. Emberfall is an online multiplayer action adventure RPG, being developed with Unreal Engine 5 upon release for Windows PC. You'll enter an expansive open world where you can choose to play as a human warrior or one of several terrifying dragon species. You'll customize your appearance with various skins and equipment play as warriors and gear up to battle for survival in a land plagued with unholy demons or as play as a dragon 
and rain fire down on your enemies. You'll rise to the top of the leaderboards and become a hero among men. Engage in intense combat with your friends and enemies to see who's the better warrior. Hunt down fire-breathing monsters and become the most famous dragon slayer. Antagonize other players or join forces to conquer the land. The thing that I find to be really exciting about this game is Emberfall takes the viewpoint of being sort of like an alternative evolutionary tree for the world where dragons naturally sprung up in the environment. Again, going for that more gritty realism uh, fi made famous by games like The Isle. Now, while the developers have been very quiet about this game, we have gotten some looks at it and it does look like it's going to be a beautiful, stunning game with incredible models and gorgeous, breathtaking environments. We have little information to go on about this game. The only thing we have is a website, which I will include in the description down below. I'm anxiously awaiting more information, and you can bet I'll be bringing you guys an update on this game as soon as there's more information. But now I would like to pass this over to a friend of mine, Velachi, who has done me the favor of covering a couple more games here for us, so I'll let him take it over. Coming right in at third in the list is another dragon game. This time it's the ever so amazing Draconia, an open world dragon survival RPG game, bringing the worlds of story based adventure and multiplayer into one, giving you the choice to follow the path of Taruk to uncover the story behind the world of Draconia through quests and secret locations all over the map. Of course, you can do this on your own or in a multiplayer server jam-packed with people as well as AI creatures in a world packed with biomes and specialized habitats for the dragons in the game. Speaking of the dragons, I bet you're wondering what are the dragons that are going to be in Draconia? Well, there will be six dragons in the game as well as a whole bunch of other creatures that you can play as in the game but today we'll be talking about the dragons and the dragons are firstly we have the European dragon a dragon that is the all-rounder with no major weaknesses and strengths this is a dragon that is based on the shadow elements the wyvern is a fire dragon in the game a skilled flyer and it lives in the world's floating islands this bad boy prefers to stay up high in the skies in those floating islands. Up next is the Eastern Dragon, a fan favorite in the game. The Eastern Dragon is a support dragon with healing skills and I must say the model of this dragon looks absolutely brilliant and this one will be following the water element. The Lindworm is next, a small flightless dragon with the dangerous poison attack. This little guy can also hide in burrows. After that we have the Behemoth, another flightless dragon that lives in the rocky worlds of Draco in the mountains and the valleys. This huge dragon follows the earth element and will be a powerful foe to take down. Finally, we have the Quetzal Coatless. Like the Wyvern, this one prefers the high skies next to the sun with the light element and that means you will not see this bad boy near the ground. There is no current plans to extend this game to other platforms. However, it will be on Steam and I just want to say this game has a lot of potential and you can pick it up right now by backing $30 on its Patreon where you get access to the full game and it's currently in early access and you'll be able to see the game grow. I want you to keep an eye on this game because this game is going to be a big dragon game when it's done. But other than that, let's get into second place on our list. Coming into both PlayStation and Steam stores, we get the next game on our list. Coming in in second place, a game where you play out a documentary with the main focus of being a cute little sugar glider. Away, the survival series is a survival game which follows a cute little sugar glider's journey to save its family. Every step of your story will take you even deeper into the wild with each action you do and decision you make 
snake determines the fate of your little sugar glider's family and the little sugar glider in the world of Away, the survival series. You will face new environments and new enemies and challenges, but you need to be careful because the storm is coming and you need to act fast. The world in this game is beautiful. Just look at the graphics in it. This is easily a game you can sink hours upon hours into exploring the incredible environments whether that be gliding, climbing or walking through these environments. But be careful, like I've said each place in this game has its own foes that will be hunting you down, from eagles to scorpions and of course the storm that will destroy everything in its way. This is a game you will surely sink hours into like I have said previously with a huge world to explore that is absolutely beautiful quests to do and creatures to fight even moments where you can control other creatures like beetles lizards foxes and more keep an eye on away it is releasing early next year on playstation and steam which means you'll be able to explore this beautiful game on a wide range of platforms this is definitely a game that you will be picking up and it's a game that we recommend you pick up but yes let's go to number one in this list i'll be handing it back over to simo where he's going to introduce you to number one and let me tell you it is a good one thanks Velachi. guys make sure to check out Velachi's channel he covers a lot of these games giving regular updates on their development progress i have a link to his channel down in the description below but now, moving on to our final game, one that I am hyped about above all else, is Animalia. Animalia is an animal survival game that focuses on life in the African savanna. It is a survival MMO game under development for PC, and the game is based on life cycles of wild animals. The first scenery for that journey is the African continent. So you can play as a lion hunting on the fields of African savannas or a Nile crocodile under the water waiting for your prey to come for a drink. Play with a variety of herbivore animals like elephants, gazelles, and zebras in this, reach, this rich ecosystem filled with complex AI and other players like your friends all around the globe. The game looks towards amazing interactions, exploration, and a playful way to live the natural life of your favorite animal. A must-have for animal enthusiasts and lovers of simulation survival games, we will continue adding new species as well as new game mechanics, maps, and biomes, says the developers. With natural disasters such as droughts and floods planned for the future, the devs are working on making Animalia multi-platform. No specifics at this time, but it is certainly exciting as not many animal survival games make their way to consoles. Now, there are currently 10 playable species confirmed, being the African elephant, African lion, the warthog, giraffe, hippo, Nile crocodile, hyena, gazelle, white rhino, and zebra. This game has just absolutely gorgeous graphics, and you can currently play a demo state of the game by backing the project. The gameplay feels fluid, and with the ability to switch between third and first person, it offers a level of immersion I have yet to see in any other animal survival game. I definitely recommend you guys check out Animalia. It just looks like it's a ton of fun, and I do plan to stream this one soon. So maybe if you guys pick it up, you could join me in a server that I will be hosting for us all to have a good time. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy. Certainly some exciting projects on this list. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And if you did enjoy this video, again, I ask you, please do leave us a like to help us out fighting against the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to this channel and want to know more about these games, be sure to subscribe for future update videos. I love and appreciate all of you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace.